bring them all together. Okay? You with me? So we'll look at number one. Turn around. So again, in the artist of Legal, the one that we have that has the most detail in his drawing is definitely Jacques. Each have their own style, but a tremendous amount of details here. Here we see Romeo Dallaire, uh, who was on, uh, on an assignment for United Nations in Rwanda. We chose him because we wanted to honor the local Canadian forces and their work there. And also at the same time, uh, recognize that the work the Canadian forces do is not easy. But still, it creates an impact. So how do you portray that? So here we have a Romeo Dallaire, which we also chose because our mandate is with the francophone component, francophone angle to it. So we need to find someone who was fully bilingual to maintain our mandate, otherwise doing murals, we'd be asked to do murals all over the country. And we just don't have time for that. So here's your Romeo Dallaire. On the top corner, you see a symbol of the United Nations. If you look in the bottom, we have uh, fires that were in Iraq. Iraq, the first time the United States went into Iraq, was the same time as the genocide occurred. It is a political message that how come in Iraq when something happened quickly the United Nations and the United States and other countries went to help, but not that far away in Africa where there was no oil, a genocide with 800,000 people died was completely ignored and put aside. So that part in the bottom there is subtle, but there's a political element to it. Charcot says, "Ah, you can turn it right away." This picture shows the suffering of the genocide, and you see here on top a child carrying another child on its back. And in there, you can see the facial and the pain that they're going through with possibly being orphans and the death of parents and be caught in constant fear at the same time. This is part of showing the fear element and the horror that many of our Canadian forces have to see. Be it here, be it in Haiti, in Bosnia, it wasn't all roses. And to present that in a real strong way. In the bottom we have the old Rwandan flag, which is torn because in the last panel you see that it's been replaced. So this picture to show part of the pain, it's a portion of the mural on the horrors of war and what we see. This third one, actually in this third one is um, uh, represent Romeo Dallaire, but the real person in that picture is not Romeo Dallaire, although it's been adapted. It's actually Mr. Uh, Douglas. Donald, stand up. He's actually the fellow who's over there holding it, who's holding his daughter for the pose, Larissa. And, and then Shock did that in an adaptation, made him a little bit leaner, uh, but uh, a little bit the same height. And then, uh, and then his daughter, who is very white, we added color to represent the local people. So those from an exam taché, that's actually Larissa, who's in that, the woman in, the, in there. So here we see Romeo Dallaire from the scene of the uh, Shaking Hands with the Devil, taken from that movie, where he actually literally carried people down the street to the side because vehicles could not drive. There was that many dead bodies. And then those who read the book have seen it. So it's to show again that, that horror. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. You see this blended in a minute, but this ends up the other picture. And the road together here is a road. And when Jacques painted that, it was a road, and in the end it's going to turn left or right. Jacques brought that in to show that the future of Rwanda, where will it go? Will it go where it was before, or will they move ahead as as a nation and just rebuild itself? So there, as you see that later on, you see how it blends into a road, and there's a choice to be taken there. You see also here the beginning of the new scene. In the end of that, because of our Canadian forces and the Rogue Rogue de the people who were there, the country has rebuilt itself. Now we're moving after the pain 
we're moving towards what's happened and the positive results of what the Canadian forces there in that Rwanda. And again, we're using Rwanda, it could be many other countries, but that's the one we chose for this painting. Here we see also the new flag of Rwanda, with the sun representing hope, and it's their a new hope for the future as they're rebuilding. We can see a person playing soccer, it's back to life, enjoying children playing, and that's since the war, that's what we see has happened in the country. And the last one, as you bring that back, you'll see the green fields of Rwanda, how actually it's a very beautiful country. This is the last, the last panel, uh, there's quite a bit in this panel. On top of here you see after the war, a woman who's smiling with her, with her son. And again, it's bright colors. There's life has come back. Uh, the colors are brighter. You can see the, the, the hope in the first woman's face. The second one still has pain in her eyes. The pain of what she lived, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, in a war like that, I mean, there was no, there was no separation. No question family members would have been killed. There's that pain there, uncertainty of the future, but she's ready to move ahead. Within that, there's uncertainty, but there's also a movement ahead, and both are put together for the future. Brighter colors, it's hopeful for the future and what is to come. We see Romeo Dallaire reflecting, what now? How did this ever happen? How did the world allow it to take place? He's reflecting. Romeo Dallaire, we've asked him to come here today. He couldn't come because his major, major work now is preventing uh, children, soldiers across the world. They choose guys, men, starting at 12 years old, 11, 12 years old, take them away, desensitize them, and after that, involve them in the war. So that's where he's, that's the reason why he's not here today, for that reason. But we see, so this brings hope. These are places that Canadian forces have served through the United Nations over the years. I don't know what each ribbon represents. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't tell you, uh, but uh, we will, uh, and Jacques will draw that out when we do the next level of write-up. But that's all areas where Canadian peacekeeping forces have served to take difficult situations and bring hope back in the country. So uh, that's what this course goes together. In the end, and I like artists, I encourage artists to do that. It's just, it's just, Jacques, put in a little personal touch. What was your motivation for this mural? His motivation was his dad. His dad served in the RCAF, the Air Force. So there is a symbol here in the corner of the Canadian. It doesn't completely fit in there, but it's a, it's a recognition and an honoring his father through the mural of, uh, uh, that he put in the corner there. So now you look at it together, and it's a different, it's all together, it's a different aspect, it's a different story. But you can see, you can see up in the darkness, you go back to the brighter colors, uh, and even with the fields in, over there in the background for a beautiful country, and you see uh, how there's more life uh, in the end. So this is really done, this is really done uh, in recognition to our Canadian forces, it's trying to be realistic. Uh, kids are doing positive, but that's not true. But they do make a difference, there's hope in the end, and that's in the end, you can see that, that girl with the woman with the smiling face, really presents hope for the future. They make a difference and in a sense we'll say thank you to them and uh, and, uh, and thank you to Jacques who uh, put this together.